welcome to Scale Car Garage. Um, bit of a different episode. Um, I don't want to say too, too much, but um, I certainly would like some uh, oh input, if possible, from you folks, because uh, my goodness, if you you've all helped me move some some things off my workbench uh inspired me to to do some things that i'd never uh well i thought about doing but didn't do uh and i'm blubbering so um tell you what why don't we uh take a little poke around here and let me show you what uh i guess i've got going uh and maybe some other things that maybe you've noticed that i've never really explained and why don't i be quiet and let's get uh let's get looking around here at Scale Car Garage. So first things first, I want to thank each and every one of you who has subscribed to this channel. And I know it's a little confusing because the show is called Scale Car Garage, but the channel is called Fast Sports. Not confusing at all, right? I can explain that. but. This show started a little over a year ago, and it really was a way to get me moving on some of the things that were literally, as you can see, piling up on my workbench. And I thought it would just... First of all, I, I want to thank each and every one of you that subscribed. I, I can't believe I have over 550 subscribers, despite the confusion. Uh, <laughs> um, and I'll, I'll explain the name of the channel, uh, but you can understand the name of the show because it's a scale car garage. Anyway, but look at what we've been able to do together. Um, this is what we did together, folks. Um, the Ranchero with the uh, ah, that, that lovely little crate in the back that says Ford Parts. And remember, we wanted to cover up that... that um, uh, crown gear, which we did, and it goes around the track so nicely. Now, I know, see, you talk about projects that need to be done. We need to build a trailer for it, so let's notch that up. We'll, we'll have a running, I don't know, should we have a running? No, let's not have a running total. This is supposed to be fun. Um, then the cheetah, which turned out, again, very, very well. And um, again, this is kind of a hybrid. It was a, a body that was basically uh, made by Carrera, and we detailed it, and we put our own brass chassis under it. Then we did the Ferrari GTO, 250 GTO, and uh, Cobra Daytona Coupe. Um, then the Morgan. And of course, the Porsche. 356 Speedster, which uh, really turned out quite well. Uh, and on that note, um, well, I, I, let, let's talk about the um, the projects that uh, that are still in 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 in, in work uh, in, in process. I'm getting excited here because uh, look at this! Isn't that cool? Um, and they all drive so well; they're so fun to drive. So let's just put these in a safe place. And let me go to the workbench and show you what we, the projects that you do know that are still in process. One, one, one moment, please. Okay. So, of course, uh, and, and, and it's kind of off to the side here, we have our Lola projects. Remember that? Okay. So, um, and yes, we got this monogram uh, Lola T70 from the, from the 2000s running with a TSRF chassis, and it's fun to drive. We, lots of work to, to do to it yet. And we, of course, have uh, the other Lolas. This, this is kind of the way I've, I've organized the, the project, so it's in the same, same sort of container, and uh, it, it'll be ready to go. But that is an ongoing project. So um, let's not forget about, about that. Uh, we also have our uh, 1.5 liter um, Formula One cars. Let me just, they're just over here. Hang on a sec. Okay. 1.5 liter. Formula One cars, of which there are four, and we got the um, we got the Lotus chassis running. They run; they don't run very well, but they're running. Uh, we have to do the same to the Brabham, because uh, we have two of them. Uh, so, so those are projects. Um, let me show you. Uh, 
something else that I've been tinkering with, um, and, and it, it pertains to the Lola project. Um, all right, um, put these down. Uh, come with me over here, and, 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 I'll and I'll show you. I'll show you right now. Okay, so let me show you exactly what I mean. Um, for the Lola T70 project, um, what I was tinkering with was a Sidewinder chassis for the monogram body from the 1960s. Um, and it would be a Sidewinder configuration. I have these uh, setup blocks that I made uh, for the correct height of the uh, of the axles, and I'll work on the uh, the distance and so forth. But I've got my benders handy because I want to do uh, you know a, a, a piano wire uh, uh, chassis for it. In in addition to that, I have uh, taken a uh, Porsche 356 model and semi assembled it with uh, the appropriate uh, accoutrement. <laughs> bits, um, altered the interior, and assembled all of the other um, parts of the car that would make a complete slot car shell for a Sidewinder. So um, I'm hoping and planning to cast all of this, including the clear parts. Uh, and so, And then when, when you start making molds um, and you get into that rhythm, I, I have a uh, an actual container here for things that I, I want to remind myself that I want to cast. And I haven't done this in a while, and as you can see, it's really quite full. But most of them, if you can see, are, are figures. Um, but be that as it may. So here's my question to you wonderful folks out there. Um, I, uh, th this will be a project. Uh, if you could please, in the comments, let me know if you would like a detailed uh, exposition of how I will make this body mold and copies of the body mold and parts and figures and so forth. If that is something that interests you, I, I most certainly will do it uh, um, and as, as detailed as, as possible. It may be a bit long, which is fine, because you guys can skip search through it. Um, but please let me know if that's something that would be of interest to you, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll put it together. But uh, it's just nice to know what uh, what I can do to uh, to help you enjoy this hobby even more. Another project that uh, I was doing while just you know doing other projects was actually uh, putting up some decorations around uh, around the, the garage, and um, I managed to find these wonderful faux. Uh, vintage signs, and they are faux, they're not real, but that's fine, they look great, they add a great vibe to uh, to the space, and my real vintage plate up there that my, my actually my wife uh, got for us, and oh, it's, that's really cool, and you can really see the difference between real patina and faux patina, but uh, still, I, I the, these little, these signs are just, just, just great, and uh, Spent some time getting those up. Also got my Chrysler grill lit up. Isn't that cool? Uh, by the way, I, I, I got to show you this because it's so cool. It's also remote control. Huh? Check this out. And you can change the color. So let's go. Let's go. Right, look at that neat. that neat? And we can change the color to green. And we can change the color to, let's see what we got. Oh, oh there's another green. Um, all right, and let's do, oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? Purple. And then you can just go back to the way it was. Isn't that neat? Um, anyway, so the, the, oh, simple things for simple minds, I guess. <laughs> okay, so I owe you all an explanation as to why the channel is called Fast Sports, uh, and this show is Scale Car Garage. Well, the show scale car garage reflects exactly what it is. Uh, it's a scale car garage. Uh, fast sports. Well, it started because uh, another one of my hobbies, well, there are two other hobbies actually that it encompassed, and both were fast sports. One was hockey. Uh, I love playing hockey, even though I'm not a very good hockey player. And the other, uh, well, I actually used to race Formula 2000 cars here uh, in Canada. And it, you know, don't don't be don't 
don't be too impressed. Um, I was so good, I paid them. So, and it was all for fun. It was amateur racers uh, like myself who would get together and we would uh, have lapping days and race days. It was, it was wonderful. Although we did have in our grids um, drivers who actually did get paid to drive and they were usually the ones who won. And that's why if I was lucky, I podiumed. Then I did podium. Okay, finishing in third place with a best lap of a 205. John, way to go, John. But that's why it's called fast sports. So I hope that clears that up. Um, and I hope you still uh, in, enjoy the, uh, the content here. Um, I, again, you know, regardless of the scale, uh, it's, still, it's still fun and it's still racing. And of course, there's a myriad of scenery projects for the track that need to be done. Um, but, you know, it's fun, right? I mean, I've got uh, this snack hut that, uh, well, even, you know, I have more done than I thought. I got the, the door made for the back. That's pretty cool. Um, but there's landscaping that needs to be done here. Uh, a brick wall that needs to be secured to the track. And, and, and the lights do work, by the way. And a myriad of other areas that uh, can always be made to look even better. Um, so. I thought I'd just give you a little uh, taste of the projects that are on the go here. Uh, and I cannot thank each and every one of you enough uh, for viewing, for commenting, and for subscribing. Uh, I never thought I'd have this many subscribers. Uh, and I really want to thank you all so very, very much for joining me here at Scale Car Garage. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe.